Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, a thought-provoking trek through the book of Proverbs, where timeless wisdom awaits. Join us as we unlock the secrets of Proverbs and transform our minds towards embracing true and godly wisdom. Each day, we'll reflect on a different proverb, in order, unraveling its layers of insight and practical application. Get ready to be inspired, challenged, and empowered to live a life of purpose and righteousness. Wisdom for your day starts now. Today is day 190. We're in the 16th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 17 and 18 from the New Living Translation. The path of the virtuous leads away from evil. Whoever follows that path is safe. Pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. In verse 17, life is a journey. An honest man is like a traveler who chooses the high road. It might be a difficult road because the high road goes over mountains, but the traveler chooses this road because it's safe. An honest man has a guard for his journey. God is his guard. He'll protect you if you're honest. In verse 18, to be proud is especially evil. The proud man thinks that he is better than anyone else. He thinks that he deserves every luxury. God does not approve of this. God wants people to be humble so they can learn wisdom. God will punish a proud person and a proud man will fall down with a crash. God's going to force you to be humble. The first saying reminds us that we have choices in life. We can choose to be around bad people and situations or leave them behind. And if we stay, we might get involved in their bad behavior. The second saying is about pride. Pride makes us rely on ourselves instead of God, leading to rebellion and ultimately death. In the movies, it's satisfying to see a proud hypocrite get what they deserve. But in real life, we shouldn't enjoy seeing proud people fail. Instead, we should pray that they learn from their mistakes and seek God's forgiveness with humility. So let me ask you, do you feel happy when someone gets what they deserve? Next time, will you remember to pray for that person instead? Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more of Solomon's wise teachings. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. The co-producer and spiritual advisor is Kimmy Shirley. Intro music by Weston McCurry. If you like this show, do me a favor and tell someone about it. Share it with them. I'd really appreciate it. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya. Hello. Do you ever feel defeated as a Christian in the confusing times we live in today? This is where God's Loving Sacrifice podcast comes in. We do Bible studies to help you strengthen your walk with the Lord in today's crazy world. We also encourage you to share the gospel and the love of Christ with this world in need. John 3.16 tells us about God's loving sacrifice, and we use the Word of God to help you find a fresh perspective on issues like forgiveness, love, obedience, mercy, and reconciliation. Join us as we delve into the true essence of faith in God and our call to go into the world and preach the gospel. So listen at www.godslovingsacrifice.com.